Welcome to Evolution of the V2 Gearbox by Aztec Innovations. This one here is the CNC 7075 aluminium scythe V2 box that has been on the market for the best part of six months now. This is the fourth generation really of the CNC box from Aztec. Um, we have a prototype that was released online yesterday visually in photos that I want to show you today. So whilst it's in the receiver, it looks much the same. But the cool thing about it is where a normal V2 gearbox is a clamshell, it opens this way. The upper half is obviously fixed all in one piece. The new one that is just coming out, this is the only one in existence. It is the first prototype and it is the last prototype because to be honest, Aztec Innovations nailed it and it's going straight into production. So this one here, when I flip it over, is a genuine split gearbox. So if I pull this front receiver pin, which is very tight, let me just get the little pushy pin thing, and remove my upper receiver, I have a normal looking V2 gearbox setup. My T-piece and everything stayed up in the upper receiver, and in the lower receiver I've got obviously the gearbox. So just to make it easier, I'll push that pin back through. If I now push this pin through, which is my rear receiver pin, my whole upper of the gearbox can come up and away. So this is a true split gearbox. You'll see our mag terminals have stayed in the lower. The gears are all in the lower. So when it's separated like this, we can service our gears, we can grease our gears, we can change our spring, we can remove our spring, we can open this clamshell, we can change our piston, we can service our Apache, and away we go. Being a true split gearbox, we can actually have two gearboxes and we can interchange this top one with a different gearbox. Let's say a different ported cylinder for a different barrel length, different spring power to suit a different application or a different barrel length, for example. With the gearbox being split, we can, as I said before, service our gears and do everything we need to do as a true split gearbox. To put it back on, you of course need to make sure your sector gears are not going to be pushing straight up into your piston. The gearbox, the gearbox has to sit under the hood at the back here. So it is not a split in the sense that it can just hinge up because it does need to go under this rear hood. These gears here are the Aztec Innovation 10 to 1. So the spur gear is the biggest gear on the market. 12 to 1s, 13s, 16s, 18s. This is smaller, which means you're going to have even more room between the gearbox and the spur gear. So the biggest gear on the market, and it slots straight together like that, with the hardest gear to make it fit. So all I have to do is push this pin through. It's now completely captive and ready to fire. Being a true split, serviceable, easy to interchange, fits like an absolute glove. That meeting there, that's the whole gearbox moving. The gearbox doesn't move upper to lower, which means your gear meshing to your piston is always going to be spot on. To put it back in, make sure our T-piece obviously is in the right spot. Slide our upper receiver back in, pin through. Away we go. Ready to run. So Aztec Innovations split scythe is the first true split of its kind. Mag terminals on the lower, fully serviceable. One note, it, it is absolutely 100% Aztec Apache compliant. So it will only run with the Apache. You may have noticed that there was no, absolutely no compatibility for a tappet plate and return spring. 
that meat has all that area has all been filled up with solid 7075 so the gearbox is stronger than any other gearbox in this frontal area um, this whole area is completely filled up these are already going into production I'm not going to say a date I'm not going to say a price but these retail for the anodized at 240 expect it to be 50 to 60 dollars more and I would like to say six to eight weeks before they're on the market. Enjoy!